this is where Holly and I coincide. I feel, and I mentioned to you before, I feel that people orchestrate the space. And it's not about the space without people. Okay? Yes, it's okay to look at a space and say, gee, that's beautiful, in and of itself. I think that's a, that's a step. But I think it really gives it energy and dynamism when you see people moving through it. It's like blood in, in a vein. Okay? That the, the space really is for people. It's, I'll give you an example. I, when we were doing Battery Park, uh, the artist wanted this particular set of uh, stonework so that you could sit on. And it just, it was more visual, more abstract, but it didn't have. So we decided, the client and I, at, as a strategy, we'd bring Holly in, because I couldn't say no. And Holly looked at it and gave the same critique that I would have, and the artist changed, and it ended up where it was fine. But Holly's philosophy, mine, deal with the same issues. That if it's, you know, a, a wall is, is an obstruction, you know, and a ledge is a place to sit. And, uh, you know, Phil, I mean, that, in the simplistic terms, Holly was, Holly and I were, you know, you see, he wasn't so much a mentor. Holly and I were, were two people who sympathized, who had sympathies, similar sympathies. Okay? We believed in what we each were doing. He was an advocate, I was a, 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 a producer, okay? I would produce what he would advocate, okay? But not necessarily in, 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 uh, in sequence. It was that he would look at the work and say, that's what I'm talking about. And it would be done. Yeah. Most of it, as I said, was intuitive. It was empirical. The educational, uh, the education and the knowledge comes from analyzing where you've been. It's always looking back to see where, you looking back informs the f where you're going.